Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, today I'm really excited. I finally got the Surface Pro X and I'm going to be doing a drawing program overview. So this is not going to be a which program is best. I'm just sharing uh, four programs that work really nicely on the Surface Pro X. Um, a lot more installed on here than I thought was going to and I've had this for about an hour. So keeping in mind that this is a very fresh review, this is going to give you guys a good place to start. And um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into those apps. Uh, also, if you have a Surface Pro X, or you're looking at getting a Surface Pro X, or you actually own any Surface device, this channel is really great for digital artists, creatives, uh, note takers, anyone who really uses a touch screen. So if that's you, please subscribe. All right, so this is Rebel 3. This one has uh, wonderful natural media brushes. Uh, this one is watercolor. So similar to, and this is the predecessor to uh, Adobe Fresco. So you see a lot of that same, same type of features. Here, let's switch to the paintbrush. Uh, that warning that popped up, I believe has to do with the amount of RAM uh, available on um, not that this is the eight gigs is too little but I think that there's a certain amount that's available for Win32 applications uh, it's a limitation all right so here you can see just real quickly how this responds and uh, on all of these apps or some of them anyway that need it, you can go in and adjust uh, pressure the exact same way you would on a Surface Pro 7 or Surface Pro 6 or book. All right, so this is Rebel 3. This is a 32-bit installer. I'll put the link to this in the description. I'm just gonna show this real quick because I actually like this blending tool. And smudge. This is very nice and responsive. I, I'm not feeling any lag. Um, oh, this is water, so we're turning water on, and that's going to add water right here. Okay, that's it. The second program is Krita. All right, so here, uh, again, I've set the settings in here to uh, turn pressure on, uh, which is in uh, settings, configure Krita, and you're just going to tablet settings, choose Windows 8 or Windows Ink. Now, let me rest my hand on the screen so you can see. Um, by the way, Tablet Pro does not work on here at the moment and I'm not sure if we will be able to get it to work, but um, I think we will probably try. <laughs> All right, so this is Krita, and this is the regular installer. This is not a specific uh, one. So this should give you uh, immediately kind of what you're looking for uh, with the Krita experience. The next program here is uh, Medibang. Let's drag this over. I really like the uh, pencil tool in Medibang. doesn't look like a pencil to me, but it still is a really nice responsive and I like the uh, opacity uh, variation based on pressure. Um, by the way, the keyboard with the uh, Surface Pro X, uh, the trackpad is wonderful, very, very nice, uh, very easy to use. Um, the uh, magnet that holds up the uh, the angle of the keyboard 
is not as good and uh, kind of gets in the way a little bit of hitting certain things at the bottom here, like if you have your taskbar hidden, uh, which is a little different, not horribly different than the Surface Pro 6 and 7, uh, similar problem, but wanted to share that that's a little different from my little bit of experience so far. All right, so as you can see, again, very nice and responsive. I'm not seeing any big issues at the moment with uh, Medibang. And again, I'll put the link to this in the description. So this next one is my favorite drawing program. And this is the 32-bit version of uh, Paint to Sai. And it unfortunately has all of my settings enabled, <laughs> which means I need to show everything here. Uh, let's see, show tool panel. All right, and let's just show the color panel, that should be enough. And I like this one for so many different reasons, but this one has uh, largely has to do with the color blending and speed of the program. Uh, it is uh, beautifully fluid and smooth. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom out and let's make this pixel brush uh, massive. Oh, let's make um, brush. Uh, I see there's a um, discrepancy because this is a 32-bit version. I was trying to make a 5,000 pixel brush and I believe that there's a limitation on the size of the brush. Um, Pencil tool. <laughs> Let me just bring this down. very nice experience. I really don't have any complaints with uh, how the, this feels, the latency, the quality of the line, uh, all of this feels very nice. All right, so that is my favorite one, Paint Tool Sai. And again, I'll put the uh, link to this in the description. And if you haven't seen some of my other videos on Paint Tool Sai and why I like it so much, uh, definitely worth checking out. Uh, for those of you who are looking at the Surface Pro X and you have questions, uh, please put them in the comment section and I will happily answer them if I can find out the answer to them. Uh, I will be doing a separate video on Photoshop once that loads. Um, it has not been a super quick easy process to figure out uh, how to get it installed. I believe the Creative Cloud app is uh, stalling a little bit. Isn't that nice? This is beautiful. All right, um, screen's glorious, by the way. It's very, very nice, and the device itself, uh, like everyone else said, is, is very sexy. Uh, so I agree. I concur with those statements. All right, that's it for this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe if you found this interesting or, or helpful information. Uh, please click that notification icon or the like button. Thank you. Until next time, stay creative.